Gavin Mendonnelly, WBC international champion. Tune in and uh, follow sporting icons. So the fight on the undercard of Dillian White and Derek Chisora between Ryan Walsh and Rhys Balotti is for the British featherweight title. Um, going into this fight, I felt that Ryan Walsh, because I've seen him before, um, especially against Isaac Lowe, where, where I thought he won that fight quite convincingly, um, to be honest. Um, but he gets a draw decision. And I always thought that um, Ryan Walsh was a Frank Warren fighter. But I think I'm... I'm kind of guessing he's a free agent right now, or maybe he had to go on this one. Maybe the purse bids were won in Eddie Hearn's favour. I don't quite know the whole um, situation with Ryan Walsh, but I always thought he was a, a Frank Warren fighter. Anyway, getting into this fight, um, Rhys Bellotti only had one defeat on his record, which was um, a fight or so ago. Um, so it was a good opportunity for Rhys Bellotti to kind of like get back into it and have a decent fight, you know? And I felt that uh, Rhys Bellotti... Um, not necessarily going to be the favourite in this one because of the inexperience compared to Ryan Walsh. But, um, but since he's lost to Ryan Doyle, he had a fight uh, back against Morena where he won that on points, looked very, very good. But against Ryan Walsh, I thought Ryan Walsh, I don't know what it is about him. He reminds me of a smaller version of Advil Kersese. He's small, he's toned, and he's just solid. He's just pure solid, uh, but a very, very good boxer. And got some decent power behind him as well. And quite how he didn't stop Reese Bellotti, I have absolutely no idea. And this fight went the 12 rounds. For me, I had Ryan Walsh winning virtually every round. You could probably give a couple of rounds to Reese Bellotti, but again, it's down to experience. Certainly, I don't think too many people can disagree with the first six or seven rounds in favour of Ryan Walsh. Um, but and then Reese Bellotti started to kind of put his foot on the gas after that bit and I felt that he gave Ryan Walsh a bit too much respect in the first half of the fight and by the time he actually got going it was too late but either way Ryan Walsh was still winning the later rounds for me that's just my opinion uh, but Reese Bellotti has got nothing to be ashamed of in this fight it's not like it was one-sided okay and just took an absolute beat down for 12 rounds not at all he was giving very very good account of himself at times the problem is he couldn't hurt Ryan Walsh that's the problem and Ryan Walsh, as I said, he's just solid in in the body. So, you know, he can take the punches and he just, the way that he fights, as I said, he's like um, Kurt Cizé. He just comes forward and places his shots and loves a good tear up. And this is what, what I was saying, that um, why is Reese Bellotti trying to trade with Ryan Walsh? He's probably the kind of like, the one kind of fighter what you don't do is trade with. Because Ryan Walsh loves to trade and he can take a shot. He loves to get punched. I don't know what it is about Ryan Walsh, but he loves that. And he can give it tenfold. He really can. And quite how he didn't stop Reese Bellotti, I'll never know. Bellotti is tough. Tough, tough, tough. I'm a big fan of Bellotti. A lot of you guys know that. Um, but I didn't think he was as tough as what he was or as durable as what he was. And in this fight... No shame to lose to Ryan Walsh. He is a quality, quality fighter. Um, for me, he's above British level. I don't quite know why he keeps hanging on to that title and defending it. I think he, he needs to move up. Um, he did go for the European title not so long ago, um, but I felt he won that one. But for me, I think he's European and onwards for Ryan Walsh. Um, I like him a lot. And potentially, who knows, maybe a world champion. You, you just don't know how it's going to go. You really don't. But... Obviously, with a Ryan Walsh, when he's 32 years old, he's, I don't want to say at the tail end of his career, but he's, in the next couple of years, he's probably going to be looking at retirement, probably in the next maybe four years, I would imagine, maybe five. But I think that Ryan Walsh needs that big opportunity. That's just my opinion, of course. And I do feel that he won his last fight against Isaac Lowe, but got, got a decision draw against him. Um, but Reese Bellotti did, listen, he did good. That, that is my opinion. I thought that he did good. Just started too late. Um, Jim McDonald was giving some pretty good advice and as in give him some confidence to say, listen, um, Ryan Walsh, he sat in the corner over there and he slumped. He's tired too. Thing is, he wasn't, <laughs> okay? And so, of course, when Reese Bellotti just come out of the gates and realising that uh, Ryan Walsh wasn't actually tired and he was walking on some, onto some big shots and especially the body shots from Ryan Walsh. Those body shots are nasty. And Reese Bellotti is going to have some sore ribs tomorrow morning, that's for sure. But anyway, congratulations to Ryan Walsh. He wins by um, 
split decision. For me, I think I think it should have been unanimous. Quite how one of the judges gave it to Reese Bellotti, I will never know. But either way, the other um, two judges did it right. For me, I had it a little bit wider, but regardless, the right man got the right decision. That's my opinion. What's going to happen with Ryan Walsh now? I'm hoping he's going to stay with Matchroom. That'll be an interesting one if he does. Um, um, I've seen him like a, um, whispering to Eddie Hearn quite a bit, so maybe it could be. Ryan Walsh, for me, needs to move on from British level. He's too good for British level. He really is. But anyway, congratulations to him. Um, commiserations to Reese Bellotti. Nothing to be ashamed of. He gave a very good account of himself. Very, very tough man. So anyway, you drop your thoughts below about this fight. Click the thumbs up and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.